Hey, 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 hey. If a cop arrests a mime, does he have the right to remain silent? He has to. It's a rule. Uh, yeah. It's a Miranda right. Uh-huh. Right? Yeah. Wait. I guess so. If a cop arrests a mime, does he have the right to remain silent? The rules of being a mime are that you can't talk. That's right. That's the rule. He'd be a hard one to convict. That's right. Mm, I'm a Because most people get in trouble when they get to talk. That's right. You get to run in the mouth. That's I what do it all the time. He ain't going to do it. He ain't, he ain't gonna do doing it. He's he gonna be going. It. Oh, I ain't doing it. But if I, I if a mom is an eyewitness, is it also no good, sir? Well, you just give him a pen then. Oh. Let him write it out. Yep. Anyway, sir. Yes. You get on Facebook lately? When's oh. the last time you checked your Facebook page? I never checked my Facebook page because hey, oh, no. well, it's I a, don't even know who is responsible for doing it. Well, good. <laughs> it's a good thing John David and I are active on social media because. John David stumbled across something and well, sent it to no, me. No, I didn't, I didn't stumble across it. Hunter from Mesa, Arizona sent it to me. Oh, I got oh, an man. email. We got another Hunter, and he's from Asa, Arizona, or whatever it is. Exactly, Asa, Asa Arizona. Asa, that is, Asa, that is Arizona. really close. Uh, well, hey, Where is Asa, you know, Arizona at? I got it's there, right Arizona. next to Mesa, Arizona. It's uh, over here. Mesa, Arizona. Okay. <laughs> it's over. Hey, look. Close to Winslow. Uh, yeah. So he, s- in the desert. he sent an email in that said people are terrified of Cy. And I normally don't click links because they scare me. You never know what somebody's going to see. But I was like, I'll bite. And so Cy, they sent a video. And some old boy's in New York City going around. Showing New York people, City. Showing people these two photographs. One is you, and one's just a man, a little stubble, kind of. He, he's about time for a haircut, and he's asking them which do they think is more more of a dangerous person. And there you That's go. Well, well, hey, it's obvious. Who? Which one's more dangerous? The one on the left is the dangerous. That's you. That's you. I know. Uh, so you think you're right. more dangerous than the guy on the right? Yeah. Well, look most at, people look agree. At the eyes on the guy on the left. My favorite was the one that said, oh, him. I don't even like Duck Dynasty. One girl said that, and I don't like her anymore either. <laughs> but but so were, she knew who you were. Yeah, out of all the people, though, there was like one that knew who Cy was, which was incredible. Uh, New York City. I don't yeah. think we've quite. We're in, I don't, we're five, in Thailand. We're in New Zealand. But five I don't even years know ago. Who that other fella is. I'll fix that. Who's the other See, So that's the funny part of this is question. Is he the most wanted man for crimes? Uh, at one point, he has committed several crimes against humanity. I guess would be the... But everybody on the video said that this guy on the right... Give me the guy with the stubble over the guy with the beard. They were basically saying that guy's kind of got a crazy beard. One side's a little longer than the other. He's got a wild look in his eye. That's it. So they're afraid of you, but they were like, this guy seems nice. I'd like to sit down and have lunch with him. And so did like 70 other people at one time. That's Jeffrey Dahmer. Yeah. <laughs> in case you were wondering. That's Jeffrey Dahmer. That's my friend Dahmer, if you've never watched I know that. The, I know the name. That I've heard the name, but I really don't It don't tell me. I don't know the person. He ate I people. Know. I just know he, he, ain't, he ain't there. He ain't right. He's cuckoo. Yeah, he ain't For right. Cocoa Puffs. Yeah. But the people right. all judged you and... They facially profiled you, Si. A literal cannibal. What did he do? I don't, I mean, I know he ate people. Yeah, he started with some really weird, that's where he graduated to. Yeah. But like, if you watch all the stuff on him, it, it, I ain't got it got, it got worse. Oh, he was weirdo. Like, was it got worse than eating people. Well, I mean, he was skinning people. He was like preying on young men. Oh, no. Mm. As a young man, like it was Ooh. just a weird. I, yeah, my wife is way too into serial killer things. Yeah, so I've watched a lot on Mr. Dahmer. And there was another. The, the video was you and Jeffrey Dahmer, and then another guy with a beard who's a Gap model. Yeah, and Ted Bundy. And Bundy. Yeah. And everybody was like, everybody's against beard. Everybody chose Bundy and Dahmer over you and a Gap model, which I think you could be a Gap model. Well, when you say Gap to me, hey, I go with Gap band. For the, uh, for the longest one ever. Yeah. 13 minutes and five seconds. It ain't the longest one ever, but it no. is. Oh, hey, I, I think it is. Got one it's longer 13 than minutes and five seconds. Oh, Russ got one. I mean, that first, that one version. 112 is about 20 minutes. Yeah. Oh, that, 25. That one version of Freebird starts today. And oh, well, yeah, tomorrow. they just keep like, playing. Yeah, yeah man, okay. So. Freebird! Um, just keep at Every concert I've ever been to. It. Yes, people, I'm that guy. Yep. Um... One time I yelled it in church. That's but what it. does it say about the human race and beards that they just look at these two guys well, see, and they're like, oh, we'll take the clean cut guy 
Now I thought because the guy with the beard's scary. I thought we'd hmm. gotten over that. I, I did. I thought we crossed that hurdle because, like, I see way more guys with beards now than I do clean cut fellas. Does that mean everybody's scared to death? I don't. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I just know there's a real problem of facial profiling out there going on. Uh-huh. Because they chose two of the world's worst serial killers <laughs> over America's favorite dadgum uncle. Thank you. <laughs> Nicest guy in America. Over a guy that unless you're some form of feathered fowl, you should not be worried about. And even then, you really you ain't yeah. got to be that worried yeah. about yeah. him. Yeah. As long as it ain't a really like right. solid weather day, you, you've you lost your fear right. of him. Right. If it's cold. You're, yeah, you're, you're safe. Yeah, if it's a Mediterranean climate during the yeah. winter, yeah. then if you're a duck, you may have to worry about Cy. Anything other than that, you ain't even got to worry about him no more. So, I just, I don't understand. Right. Well, I enough. also am perplexed how you ask that many people off the street and show them those two pictures and they didn't know that they were Dahmer and Bundy. Well, I knew exactly who they were. I, so the Dom- I did not know Mr. Gap model. I didn't know him. Never I was not aware of him. But, but, it, but I could tell... The Dahmer pal, I was like, that's a courthouse. Well, yeah. But I didn't know it was that. I mean, he it was, was Jeffrey Dahmer. He was eating. It was our friend Dahmer. He ain't my I friend. didn't know what he looked like. Well, there you go. That's him. I had heard the name, but I was the same way. Yeah, I know the name. Yeah. And I know the bomber's name. Yeah. All I know is what comes to my mind is a hoodie and sunglasses. Huh? Is that the Unabomber? The Unabomber? Well, neither one of them was a Unabomber. Well, I know it. I don't know what the Unabomber is. Yeah, the one that came in my mind just now was Manson. Charles Manson? Yeah, Charles Manson. I don't know what he did either. Oh. oh he, he I'm kind of rainbows. He was a serial killer. Yeah, what? You what, don't watch. You, you, yeah, you, no, no, I don't want to watch those You things. ain't in that documentary section of and, Netflix. And I don't like had, Lifetime and movies. <laughs> and he had a beard and long hair. Oh, okay, yeah, I've seen yeah. him. But yeah. I, I don't like watching that stuff because it just oh. makes you sad. Yeah. And then you start side-eyeing people. Manson had a bunch of people do all his stuff for him. Oh, yeah. Him. Oh, yeah. Like, he convinced he the whole like crew Tom. to control go out freak. there. Yeah. He was like Tom Sawyer. Yeah. Control Got freak. him to do all their work for him. Yeah. Man, that's incredible, though. Yeah, so anyway, people are more afraid of you than a cannibal. Bye. Mm. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> it blew my that's, mind, though. That's where the world oh, yeah. has gone, boys. It was. No, it did end on it. The, the video that this guy made, I don't even know who the guy is. Uh, yeah. He apparently just walks around New York with a camera asking people weird questions, seeing if he can. I just hit. think it's hilarious that they landed on Cy. Si. Well, right. because he's such a nice man. I know. And then people cho- the people read a book by its cover. Yep. And your yeah. beard is lopsided. Well, they already know, but you can't do that. The, the, well, that was kind of the you point of the that video. That was the point of the video. In a yeah. world where everything is yeah. preached, don't judge a book by its cover, give yeah. everybody right. a fair shake. Based off two right. pictures and folks in New York City, didn't none of them do it? Right. Except for right. the girl that said, I don't like Duck Dynasty, so give me the other guy. Hey, I'd like to that, know what her deal is. Hey, but that's I, so, you don't have to like Duck hey, Dynasty. I don't I, care about that. I got a good story on that. What? We was in New York City and was walking the streets. Mm-hmm. In Times Square, there was a guy there sitting on 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 the side of the sidewalk, and he had a sign, "Give me money for drugs." Did you give him any? No. I said, oh. "Hey, dude, look." I said, "Are you hungry? Or you need some clothes? I'll take you over in a good restaurant, and I'll feed you and pay for it. All right, and then if you need some clothes, I'll take you over here and this, you know, and get you fed with some outfit, you know, and pay for it." I said, "But I ain't gonna give you no drugs, dummy." And he's, he just, when I got ready to leave, he said, Duck Dynasty sucks. <laughs> <laughs> so, but he had seen it. Well, yeah, hey, yeah. but he, he do be. Yeah. yeah right? See, so. that's the thing. Yeah, if you want to watch that video, it's on Facebook. <laughs> I'm just going to tell you the guy's name if he's got weird stuff. This is the only thing I've ever watched by him. It's Kareem Jovian. Yeah. And literally, I'm looking at it right now. He walks around New York City. Just make that video has got that's five million question. views. That's amazing. People even question. talk to him. What's, well, you're in New York. Yeah. I've always wanted somebody to come up to me and be like. When I walk down the streets of New York, people, everybody look mad. I haven't been to the streets of hey, New York. If you live but where I know nothing. why. I know why they can't get nowhere. They got to walk everywhere. That's why they're mad. I walk a lot of places. I walked to lunch today. And man, mainly you're walking on concrete all the time. Mm. There's no grass there. Except for that park. That's where Jace got escorted to from the Trump right. Hotel. Oh, yeah. 
They're don't, like, no, you I, need to go back in there. That's yeah. right. That's don't ever tell anybody from. at the Trump Tower that you need to take a leak. They're going to escort you outside and point you away. Even if you're staying there. That's yeah. right. Even if you're staying there. <laughs> it was amazing. And you know, all that crowd, there was a, a lady that come out of the, the apartment building. She had her baby in the front holding a briefcase going there. Now, how far does she have to go to daycare and then go to work? I mean, she was dressed nice. Oh, it ain't no time? Man, daycare could have been at work. A lot of them places provide it there. They have That's a little. That's pretty cool. Well, I like was a hundred stories. I yeah. was like, I can fit a daycare on one of them. I was like, "That's her life every day, having to do this every day." A little pretty, papoose. That's, yeah, it's pretty, pretty amazing. Hey, I'm gonna strap one on me and go duck hunt. Two of them. <laughs> no, just one at a time, man to man defense. <laughs> <laughs> one retrieving I I got duck, those. one I'm retrieving get, the ducks, and two, one get get you two saddles. Hey, one on each shoulder. <laughs> Take them hunting, buddy. There you go. You need them. You uh, gotta need them. All right. Well, let's take a break. We'll be back right after this. <laughs> Have what? you heard the latest? What? what? What's the latest? What is it? I? That Tommy John underwear are the best in the world. That's not the latest. No, that we, well, yeah, we've known that is. for years. Not the latest. We've been no, knowing that. That's the latest. That's the only thing keeping our ice cubes from melting this summer well, around here, son. It's been a heat wave. That, it is hot. Look, Tommy John don't have fans. What do they have? Hey, it's 17, over 17 million of them that are fanatics. <laughs> yeah, you baby. people need to go get you some Tommy John underwear. It's like having nothing on. Size telling the truth. Look, in this summer when the heat hits, it's good to stay frosty where it counts in the brand That's new it. Tommy John underwear because when you wear Tommy John, you're that much cooler. So you can do everything better thanks to breathable lightweight fabric with four times the stretch of competing brands with dozens of comfort innovations. Tommy John will keep you looking and feeling cool all season long. I, they really are the best. I don't know. They're the they're, best on the they're they're next, in the world. Right. They're next to nothing that is something is great that's for it. something that's there. That's what I'm saying. And size right, no fans, only fanatics. 17 million pairs sold. That many people can't be wrong, that's folks. Right. Look, they don't just make you feel cooler. You actually are cooler. Stay up to seven degrees cooler than cotton in Tommy John's Apollo underwear. Plus, there's no risk because you're covered with Tommy John's best pair you'll ever wear. Or it's free. It's guaranteed. a guaranteed. There you go. Cy loves them. We love them. Godwin loves them. I love them. Johnny D loves them. That's right. And Jay so Stone will you. even loves them. If you get Jay Stone to love That's something, right. hey, you can't beat that. I you better do. order some too. That's All right. you have to do is shop TommyJohn.com slash duck right now for 20% off your first order. Get 20% off right now at TommyJohn.com slash duck. TommyJohn.com slash duck. See site. For details. That's right, and get you some good feeling underwear. Yeah, baby. All right, so in the break, I read about Jeffrey Dahmer. If you're under 18, don't do that. Um, don't even read about it. That was freaking weird. Told but, you. I just thought he was like a bad guy. I didn't, uh, well, I mean, yeah. He was, well, I, he's worse guy. than bad. He was sick. No, that's, that's evil. He was sick. No, that's, 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 when the, that's when the evil one right. has taken he root. Was, he was sick. And yeah, but I don't like that kind of stuff. He was possessed. Like, why not watch Wheel of Fortune? <laughs> why are you watching these shows about oh, yeah, this I guy? I, I'll say what I enjoy about those things is is not the evil. It, it's amazing to me what the human body is capable of like the chemistry in your head and the things that can go oh. wrong because of this that and the other at, at key moments i find that extremely interesting um i don't know why just the nerd in me maybe i don't know but it, oh, no. it's i mean you pray that it never happens to anybody right mm -hmm. but, you know but then when it does kind of need to study it see if we can prevent it see that's what you're here for yeah <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to watch Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> and Sai's going to watch Gunsmoke. That's right. And Godwin's going fishing. Yeah. And you uh, just fill us in. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. And everything will be good on our oh, neck. Long as long as I'm not on that, though. It's interesting. Yeah, those things are interesting. Oh, oh yeah. Like, it, it's yeah. like cause when you go back and like look at brain scans of those people and you compare them. I mean, it's just, it's, it's bizarre, man. It's bizarre how it can happen. Like, you know, and then your body follows follow shape but it's uh i don't know i don't know what causes it it's bizarre 
<coughs> aside from evil. And if you get into that for too long, then, you know, it's it, downhill. it changes things. Yeah. So, yeah. but just like Jesus can change things, right? I mean, he, he can, yep. he can change it the other way. So, I mean, it's just a, it's a weird, mm. it's strange, man. Lots of questions. It leaves oh. you with way more questions than answers. I'll yeah, say I that. I know. It. Yeah. Why is black olives in cans and green olives in jars? That's a, I mean, there you, there you go. Mystery. Do you have an answer or is that no, just a, I just want to know. I got a you. Trivial fact. Black olives <laughs> and cans <laughs> and green olives. The other question is why are black olives so much better than green ones? I don't really like olives. Oh, I do. Well, I love a black olive. I like them on pizza, it's, it's your, which your I can't green, eat no more. Your green is like your grapes. Got it. What is it? The short of it is, black olives are always in a can because the canning process is what creates the desired sweetness. Yep. Um, and green olives yep. are always in a Middle. jar because the final product product Middle. is expected to be a crispy raw olive, yep. not a cooked one. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. All right. There we go. No, no, How I much did. have we learned today on the oh, talk? No, I knew it was gonna be sweet. I can sleep sound tonight. Any more brain busters? Mm, no. What do you call? Uh, Batman when he skips church. Hold on. What do you call Batman when, when he, he skips the church? What do you call him? Christian Bale. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. <laughs> that was my favorite one. <laughs> that's, that's good. Oh. I mean, that's a good, I can't even laugh. Like, that is... Because I, I was over here thinking like winged, caped. Oh, what? no. That's, and then that's he just like said. The, that's like the black olive. It was a little too sweet, boys. That's good. <laughs> Christian Bale. That's rich Bale. right there, that's son. That's rich. Christian Bale, if you're listening to this, <laughs> that's just a joke I say. Um, <laughs> oh, you told one. <laughs> that's just a joke I do. Johanna told me that last night. Uh, did she really? Oh, she Your did. daughter? Yeah. It runs in the family, boys. That was yeah, that was I said, I'm telling that. A one liner. Okay. That's a good one. Goblin, what you know, last time you dropped some news on us. Have you learned anything else about your condition? Yeah, you can't eat a lot of stuff. But I can eat meat. So I've been on that grill, baby. Have you? You need some charcoal? Probably some pellets. You need eat, to you need to drop off some. He's eating food that does not produce sugar. sugar. Yeah. Well, we had a lot of emails. And he was telling that. me. Potatoes are out. Yeah. Potatoes Pater, are yeah. out. I, I thought I, I thought potatoes didn't ain't got nothing sweet in it. They're starchy. There you That's go. That's what a sugar is, my friend, is a starch. There you go. Well, see, That's I'm it's a co- it's a complex I'm educated. It's a complex carbohydrate. No more mustard fried crappie. No, that's oh, out. Oh. That's major out. Hey, I just hey. I, no more I, dots pretzels. I better not ever get it. Golly, we can't stop it, Bucky. Oh, I can. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm you, going hey, What do you mean, buddy? You got a mouse in your pocket? <laughs> no, I wouldn't do that to you, old buddy. <laughs> hey, I'll, I'll eat nuts and berries with you the whole way, son. I'm good. It don't matter to me. I'll eat protein bars and nuts yeah. and berries. We're Salads. fine. I'm here to support. I'm fixing to be he's, Mr. He's a team Healthy. player, boys. I'm now, when I, get, when I get to my hotel room, I may order me some ice cream or well, something. there you go. You know, I ain't going to do it in front of you. Well, that's important. Absolutely. Oh, we got... We got some ice cream the other night, some supposed to be uh, diet ice cream. Yeah, keto ice cream. Diet wrong. It was wrong? Yeah. Didn't taste good or didn't? No, it tasted all right. But it made your numbers jump? Yeah. Yeah. But I'm trying to keep them in the green. Huh. I got you. That's, well, well that's, you had a bunch of our fans. Dad, burn it. Yeah, there's a. I looked in the comments of the episode. There were a bunch of people offering tips, but the main one yeah. I saw was keto. Go 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 into ketosis, which look. Ketosis. Let me just tell you something right now. If you need help on that, I'll give you my brother's cell phone number, because my brother and my sister in law lost like two people on on keto, and they know every meal, every Whoa. everything that can. They, they lost that much weight. They lost that. Much, yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, like. Oh yeah. Like, I understood what he was talking about. Like it took me. Aside. Like for real, for real. My brother yeah. went so because he's like me in the super analytical part, once he gets into something, like, we're all in. So he can tell you everything. Like, there's, like, 
keto mayonnaise you can make is like a condiment that has very that's got like three net sugars in it or something that he he always makes and i mean there's stuff you can do i know like, that keto bread once you buy it you better eat it quick i eat keto bread even and i'm not even on keto just to just to make better decisions that's a good but, thing though check you, know, you need to check yeah, with yeah. Them. yeah um yeah oh, my brother stone. My brother give you a full meal plan and like he'll do all he'll do all the calculating for you macros and everything you need. So he's into just, it. Yeah, he's 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 a nerd up in that. I so. will say that we had one email that really caught my eye, and he actually sent it in before that episode. Really? And so then he saw this episode and re sent it. His name's Steve from Weathersfield, Connecticut, and he. Had, went through the same thing as Godwin, lost 70 pounds, and he sent me his doctor's email to him, which I'm, I don't know if we're breaking HIPAA violations, but I can't sue me. Um, <laughs> and his doctor said, Steve, I think we can say your diabetes is resolved. I'll take it off your problem list at your next visit. So this is beatable. Oh, yeah. yeah. And you got a lot of people cheering for you. Yeah, that's what they say because they caught it so early. You yeah. know, it's, yeah. it ain't that bad yet. Well, that was like stone. I just got to oh. eat different. Stone dropped 70 pounds, and he did it by his diet. Yeah. That's how he done it, because he ate a lot of meats, didn't eat a lot of carbohydrates. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you start using fat as your fuel instead yeah. of carbs. Yeah. So. Yeah. Fat for fuel, baby. Yeah. I mean, hey, 70 pounds ain't nothing, you know. The only problem is, man, is it's expensive. Well, it's not expensive to it, do. It's it's expensive to do well. Well, it, yeah. like you can eat ground gross beef every day. Yeah, that ain't and ground that's turkey. That's the old thing and, about yeah, parent, I, I ain't got but about five packages of ground deer left. Well, buddy, you just swing by my house. I still <laughs> got, got some? I got some, and I'm happy to yeah. donate it to you. Yeah, share it. Sweet. Because you know what? I've went about two months sans kitchen, so there ain't been a whole lot of movement outside of my freezer right now. So <laughs> oh, yeah. you I still I'm still in the truck. remodel, so if you want to come truck get what I would have ate over the past two months, you are welcome to come get it because yeah. it needs to go. Because Miss Paula doesn't want wondering why I ain't got her some more broad hits. <laughs> say, we ain't have a five pack. Where's them broadcast? Put, go put that camera out. Well, hey, yeah, put the camera out. <laughs> no, the the up. I got I got breakfast sausage and I got ground beef. If you or you know ground ground. I beer. can eat breakfast sausage just as a meal. Yeah, but by itself. Yeah, mm -hmm. That's but this is wonderful thing. But I can eat beans, boy. I make some good beans. Yeah, you need some peas. Our our peas are. You like purple whole peas? Yeah. Yeah, we got Crowder. All you gotta do is go pick them. See, that's exercise there. Yeah. You get you get both hands. <laughs> you go pick the peas. I ain't got to. You shell them and then you cook them. Exercise and a diet. Oh, yeah. you'll pick them too. Yeah. No, I like we getting out there beating back the snake. Hey, you know what else we got going good right now is okra. That ought to be again the ball to go to that. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, that's what you need to eat. No, I ain't yeah. eating that. I'm All with right. him. Okra is so, real good if you that, fry it, but yeah, there's so out. many different ways you can cook it. Man, I love okra with oh. just a little bit of olive oil oh, and thrown, thrown on the grill, man, yeah, and just char it. Ah, oh, it's so good, and a little, little bit of I salt. Just ain't got a taste for it. Hey, right. look, I, I look, I get it. I'll eat it in a gumbo. Yeah, but it's a lot of other stuff. A lot of distractions yeah. around yeah. it, ain't yeah. it? Yeah. yeah. Well, it's a lot. Of, it's a lot of stuff to disguise it in yeah. a gumbo. Uh, I'll eat it if you deep fry it, but. That's well, the only way I'm going with those. Yeah. Right. Hmm. Well, hmm. let's take another break. We'll be back right after. This. All right. But no, for real, I'll give you my brother's number. He got everything like keto deviled eggs. Like he, he got, I mean, stuff that makes it not suck as bad. When I went keto, I would do breakfast sausage or ground beef with eggs, mm -hmm. put it in a bowl, put some cheese on top of it. Mm -hmm. Go to. Yeah. Yeah, you need all the meat and cheese. I got, uh, I get them egg witches where the it's like a sausage, egg, and cheese biscuit, except for the biscuit is it's egg, egg white. Uh huh. That's good. Yeah, the problem with that is you got to watch them and see how many sugars they put in it to preserve it. Like if you're buying them pre made and frozen and all that well, stuff. Mine didn't go up after I eat it. So. Yeah. Huh. I always zap it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I have a ton of good emails. It I'll, is a. I'll zap it before I eat and then when I. About an hour after eat, I'll zap it again. Well, look, here's what I'll tell you: we're here for you. We're here to support you. We ain't here to we ain't here to cause you to stumble. I'm I, I, I'm I'm with you. We're gonna be traveling together Thursday and Friday, so I'll, I'll be the sheriff. It don't matter to me. Oh, I could eat anything. <laughs> <laughs> 
That is always tough, man. Whenever you you make those changes, like no, you I'm, don't. When you can't have it, then you want it. Yeah, that's exactly right. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, just as soon as they say no, you can't have that pizza. You're like, man, I'd love a big old pizza. And you that, don't even eat pizza. That's what I have. If I ever even we run into a pizza uh, situation, our niece right? moved this weekend. She ordered a bunch of pizza. I just looked at it. I just got it, raked the top off of it. Skinned it. <laughs> well, Willie been doing that for years before that was even a thing with keto. He just. Ate. Yeah. Uh, Willie go to a pizza buffet and just have a whole pizza still on his plate, but no yeah. topping. He's the he's the one that you wonder why they put forks there. Well, that's for him so he can scrape it off the top and just eat the meat and cheese. Yeah. Weirdo. Put it in a bowl. Mix yeah. it all up. Tom's yep. daughter, youngest daughter does that. She'll fix a pizza. Put it in the microwave, and then when it gets it out of the microwave, clears everything off of it and eats the sauce. <laughs> Just put some sauce. I did that on keto, though. I would make Seriously. a pizza in a bowl. Ain't kids fun. One. I think I'm, I got so tickled at what you were doing. Some, boy, I wonder how my salad is. It's yeah, probably out. You think? <laughs> Sorry. Does it okay. taste good? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it's out. What's the main ingredient in your salve, sir? Mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. Oh, uh, horseradish. That's fine. What's the second ingredient? Mayonnaise. Yeah, it's got mayonnaise in it. Yeah. But what about that mayonnaise light? I can do that mayonnaise light because it's zero gram sugar. Yeah. The mayonnaise Yeah, that's light? what I was saying about the, uh, that's what they make like those keto, keto. deviled eggs with and stuff yep. like yeah. that. Did All right. So ma- now right. what's the third ingredient? Worcestershire sauce. That's fine. What's the fourth ingredient? Lemon juice. That's all right. Don't that see should be wrong fine. That's acid. Yeah, that's What's all. next? Yeah. Black and seasoning. Salt and black. Oh, pepper. we're good. Yeah. Hey, just yeah. switch the light, man. Grill me some. Grill me some crappies up. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Put them on a. And then bust them all up and put it in there and mix it up and make a dip. There you go. Yeah. But I can't dip it with nothing. You dip it with a spoon. Pork rinds. Yeah. Pork rinds. <laughs> We paid to try it, baby. Uh, he, hey, he said, we'll give it a we shot. We paid to try it. <laughs> about to use a pork. A shot, we going to have crappy dip with pork rind. He going to have a dead gum. Uh. That's a gumbo there, boys. <laughs> uh, he going to use a pork rind like a Frito scoop. So I sure good. am. Yep. I did it once. It I wasn't need to get them, good, them big, thick, puffy ones. Hey, hold on. Where you at? There are some chicken skins at. Chicken skins? The right to his right, left. What is it? Are they in that box? That's an empty bag. That's an empty bag. What is yeah, it? Yeah, they don't last long right here. Somebody's like sending some chicken skins to yeah. melt in your mouth. Oh, they're gone. They, here. they were here. They're well, sure. yeah, no, they're gone. I'll find them in the next break. Yeah, we'll we'll get up and find them. I was just looking Only because I want to eat one sure of them. Yeah, they want some. Look, there's, there's a package of them oh, right yeah, there. Right Philip ate them all. Philip ate them all? Yeah, he ate them all. Let's see. Y'all said it was good. It's only got one carb in it. It was delicious. So... I wouldn't eat that. That's been open. That's yeah. been open for a yeah, while. For a while. minute. Yeah. The cleaning crew of this room. Introduce whoever the drum it, roll, please. Whoever it may be. Hey, let me just tell you something Lock about chicken skin. Chicken uh, skin. You know, you ever just. He's fascinated. Yeah, we got them here. I'll get you a fresh bag. They somewhere. Um. But you ever had them weekends where things just go a little weird on you? So I'm sitting there. I'm at the Delta Waterfowl Expo. All that stuff. Yeah. And I got asked to judge the calling contest. But you don't oh, believe in the cut. Oh, great. The cut down calling contest. The cut down calling. Huh? But ducks don't sound like that. No, a cut down call they do, actually. It, it, it's just very loud, especially in a contest yeah. where they're inside. And, and on the microphone. It's very loud. <laughs> very, very Were you loud. not a good judge? I was a great judge, I think. I mean, I don't know. I just judged it off. I'm, there were like four other judges there that were way more experienced than me because I ain't never judged one. So how did it get weird? I judged it off of if we would have killed the ducks or not. Like, that's how I judged it. Would we have killed that bunch or would they have got away? That's how I judged it. If we'd have killed them, you got seven or higher. <laughs> yeah. If we wouldn't, you got somewhere between zero and five. Right. Did you so, give somebody a zero? Well, you had I had to give two of them a zero because they they uh, squealed their call. Uh-oh. So if your call ever locks up one time, okay. you're out. You're out. Uh-oh. So you're out. so two of them did that. Um, which actually those are the I mean I hate to say it those are the easiest ones to judge because there's no judge like when it happens you're zero move on. The other ones are like you're trying to figure out man there's not much difference. But while I'm doing that, I get a text like and you know the good Lord was with two of our buddies this weekend because Jordan Summit that works here totaled his truck 
Well, what? Oh, no. With his whole family in it. Nobody told me this. Oh, yeah, I'll send you the picture. Uh, totaled his truck with his family in it and his dogs. Like, somehow, Ooh. his dogs had a couple of little scrapes and scratches, but everybody else was unharmed. Uh, wow. And then our newest employee, young Mac, Good somebody God. rear-ended their very expensive Ranger bass boat. Ooh. And yeah. now it is pretty much shot garbage. Yeah. Wow. It's a lot of money. And well, and all of that happened in like a five minute span while I it, I just happened to look down uh when we had a break in that contest and um I, I saw both of them back to back in the pictures and I'm like Whoa. What in the world is going on yeah. outside? <laughs> you know, I was just like but that's one of them deals where you you know, a lot of times you wouldn't ever say nothing, but you know, thank the good Lord he was with both of them. Because both of those could have ended oh, yeah. way more right. severely yep. than a truck yep. being totaled and a boat being totaled. That was um, that must have been during that rain. It was on Saturday, just north of Little Rock. Which good news for Jordan, they were taking their kids to visit grandparents to stay with grandparents. As I was in Little Rock, so Jordan and then Angela jumped in the truck with me yesterday, and I brought them on back home. <laughs> you know, huh. I, they, that said, they said, "Can we catch a ride back home?" I said, "Yeah, yeah come on, there ain't no wow. problem." Oh man, that's terrible. Where was Mike at? He here. Yeah, he just, done got back. Yeah, he done got rear-ended. He thought um, he was Scott Martin. <laughs> Mac ain't going fishing anytime soon. No, no, it's going to be a minute on that one. I don't even know what you do about it. But that's just one of them praise reports where a lot of times you don't you, you forget to mention what the what the Lord's done good in your life a lot of times, mm -hmm. and that's that's one of them right there. He yep. he kept his hand over two of our buddies for wow. sure. Um, I didn't know that about Jordan. Yeah, man. You started talking. I got nervous. No, he's fine. I mean, he was here I before we started. Him while ago. Yeah, so he was walking around looking for you. He was worried about you. Well, that's good news. <laughs> oh, that's good news. Right. Well, Jordan's so nice. He Jordan, is. Jordan's the nicest guy in the world. He's Making one of sure them. sure everybody was in their place. That's for sure. But those are just things. So, si, what'd you do this weekend? Anything worthy of note or sat nope. at the house? Took nope. him out. We went to Tulsa, you know, up there with the uh, Randy Byer and the pipeline people. Yeah. I had a good three days. Yeah. When's your buffalo coat due to get here? They got it in the mail, I think, right now. Oh, praise the Lord. I can't yeah. wait till the they, day. Uh, they took, they, uh, <laughs> his granddaughter, she's like three, maybe two, two and a half. She's making She put it on. <laughs> it fits. She put it on or they laid her <laughs> well, in? Well, she did. They just kind of bunched it around her and took pictures of it. It's hilarious. Oh, uh, I can't uh, wait till that yeah. door opens and yeah. oh, Sai no. comes walking in in a yeah. buffalo coat. Yeah. It's going to be amazing. That thing uh -huh. is, is, you know, it's handmade. Is that one of them deals, though, you don't wear him to the woods? I probably will. He but he's the wrong yeah. color. Huh? Don't go, yeah, sli don't yeah, go yeah, slipping but, around. Yeah. Oh, I ain't going to be walking around. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of them deals. Them old rednecks. Oh, yeah. I saw that bush oh, shaking, yeah. and I saw some brown fur. And next thing you know, size. Oh his, no, no, no! You talking about his coat that. up where the bullet was? And I may have told this before. I had a buddy that was deer hunting. Yeah. And he's in this. He's on a ridge, and it's a thicket out in front of him. And I'm in a thicket. You had to crawl through it. You know. And he looks, and he's hunting this big old twelve point buck that he saw before. And he looks, and he sees deer hair in the thicket. Uh oh. Okay, and he just he raised up the rifle, put the scope on it, and and he's when he was telling the story, he said, and I'm thinking to myself, something ain't right about what's going on here. It just it it ain't making sense, the movement or nothing. So he doesn't shoot. Whew, thank goodness. And hey, sixteen year old kid with a deer jacket he had bought. Is crawling through that thicket. Well, hey, that's why they always say, make sure you target. Oh no, 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 and it. wear as much. No, no, my buddy gets can. down, goes down there, and just chews his kids rearing out. Talking, hey, take that thing off right now. Yeah, and put on some urn. Hey, and put on some orange hat and vest, and don't you ever come back in the woods with that stupid deer hide on your back. Yeah, that's a good way to start going. Feeling for stuff. Yeah. Like, oh no, no, no! Yeah. Anybody else probably would have killed that kid. Oh, ain't no doubt. Mm -hmm. Ain't no doubt. Okay. Mm. Long. No, no, it, it just. Oh, 
Let's go to a break. Well, let's take a break. Let's take a break and see if we can find God with some chicken skin. We'll be back right after this. Chicken skins, boys. We found God with chicken skins. We found the chicken skins. Ladies and gentlemen, we found the chicken skins. So I was on the the internet, which is a scary, scary place, and I saw an ad for this. I'm good. And I'm going to show you, Martin. And we might literally can't show this on TV. No. (laughs) No. I don't even want to look at that. No. It's, Why would somebody do that to their pet? <laughs> Why would you get a rug made out of your pet? <laughs> I, I'm totally cool if you want to go full body mount and put him by yeah, the fireplace. Yeah. You would full back. Ba- I thought that was illegal. Well, I don't know if it's illegal no, or not, I but I'm up. not looking at a rug. Yeah. I'm not going to go step on my dog. You want some so, flop? <laughs> no. I don't even want to look that way. Right. So somebody is... On the Facebook, advertising their business, on which they will turn your beloved dog into a beautiful rug from its body. Uh, rates based on size, and he starts at $800. Well, I mean, my dog about to go, so I have to consider all the... I was just going to bury him. I don't think I could do a rug, because that's just creepy. I don't even know if we can air this segment, because of how creepy that was. <laughs> Uh-oh. Martin, people are making rugs out of their dogs. That's terrible. It is. That's like, terrible. This is weird. I mean, like, look at Cy, for instance. Where are you going to put a sweet pea? Hey. You want to make her into a rug? No. She's definitely going to be at least 1000 because it starts at 800 it She is him. Him. She's what? A, sweet pea is a he. Uh, yeah, he's a, she's named. She thought it was a female. Yeah. What? Sweet Pea got named before known, yeah. before things got checked yeah. out. All right, anyway, that's what I did this weekend. Sorry for ruining your yeah. lunch, Martin. Mm. Yeah, that was man's best now, friend. I said it to my wife. That Dahmer thing. <laughs> yeah, that went right along with what we started on. Oh, good. Great. I sent that hey, to my wife yeah. to ask her if she wanted to do that with Dublin, and she said no. Yeah. But I was just seeing. Well, thank goodness. And then I also yeah. sent her a Jeep I wanted to buy. Now that I saw, and you she should have said, bought it. She said no. She too. said no to that, too. But I said yes. It was an exact replica of the Jurassic Park Jeep. There's Jurassic Park Jeeps just roaming the countryside. Uh-oh. They're all over. And they're 1992 Wranglers painted just like the Jurassic Park. I love it. I need Why didn't you buy it? Eh, times are tight in 2020. Times are tight, boy. Not, I mean. Yeah. If this would have happened in May, you'd have bought it. But you ain't selling much crickets right now. That's the problem. May we would have been. It's too hot. The crickets ain't. There's one in Missouri that I'm I'm watching it. Keeping an eye on it. Well, and I don't really drive my truck. I drive my truck five miles to the honey hole, and then five miles, not even like two miles to Duck Commander, back to the honey hole, and home. That's that's my life. Yeah. My truck. We got a car for the kids. Yeah. So I was like, what if I trade this in? It's probably worth more. That's right. Than a Jurassic Park Jeep, but it's a manual, and. That ain't your boy's strong suit. Well, ain't but one way to learn. Yeah. I know. Drive five miles. Get one. Yeah, and you need to teach your boys how to drive a stick shift. Right. See, and that was my thing. That's why. That's, that's how why, I tried to sell that's it. That's the selling point. One day, Carter's going to be the coolest kid right. in high school. That's right. Because so he's, he's going to. a Jeep. I'll just yeah. pass it down to him. He can learn. He'll probably, by the time his generation gets to high school. He may be the only one that knows how to drive a stick shift. Look at look at how cool that thing is. Yeah, get him a tour guide cap. Oh, a vest. <laughs> oh, and mean, a little stuffed rhino to oh, put yeah. in the passenger right. seat. And get him a get him a. Seat. We need no more stuffed rhinos in my Get him a shaving right. cream can. Yeah. Really? For what? Oh, from <laughs> Jurassic Park. <laughs> That's what he had. He had the mix in. Yeah. Um, I like it. No, uh, Carter has enough stuff around us, by the way. We're at six, all of them in his bed every night. Well, that's more than the long views who's got. Or Tyler, wherever that was. One more than Tyler. <laughs> Not more than that Gulf Shores do. Uh, oh, man. Where do we, I don't, I don't know, know where to go from here. I'm sorry for either. pulling up the weird dogs. Weird dog, but the Jurassic Park Jeep, that's a that's an investment I can get behind. I yeah. think I should do it. Si? Yeah, but uh, right. see, look, life's too, yes. life too short, ain't it? Right. Hey. Well, get, that was kind of my head on too. It. Like, get on it. That's what them boys told me. That's Am right. I really gonna die never owning a you're exact replica? You're always gonna wonder. The Hopefully Jurassic not. Park, you're Hopefully you're gonna, gonna, gonna make a move and say, "Hey, yeah. this is for me." <laughs> Next you know? year you're gonna say, That's "I wish right. I'd have bought that Jeep." That's why I got a new pickup. Hey, just said, "Hey, you go for it, son." Is that thing wrapped yet? Huh? 
Nah. No, they're no, wrapping his old pickup. My Chevrolet is what's being wrapped. Is that thing wrapped yet? It's. I got a picture of it where they, yeah, they've done, they started it. They started on it. Yeah. They, they're Why doing does it take to wrap a truck? Uh, I'll tell you what was crazy about this week. How much it cost? No, how long does it take? It's been doing well, it for hey, like two it, months. This is detailed, okay? It's detailed. And it's, and it's expensive. Phil Robertson made a public appearance this weekend. You believe that? Yeah, he, he was, was at the same place I was. Did you know Where? he was going to be there? Yeah, I had to fly in private. Oh, <laughs> he, had to, he had to fly Big in private. Time. Yeah. How did that go? It went good. That was what, Arkansas? Yeah, Arkansas. Yeah, Phil's my favorite part. Arkansas. Phil still is as funny as ever. I mean, he. He ain't trying to be funny. I showed up. He said, you got in that coffee? I said, I'll get you some coffee, Phil. You know, and then. When he went to leave, though, he's only there for two hours. So he goes to leave. He goes stands up, and he says, well, I hate to eat and run, but, but I got to go, here. boys. I'm out of here. <laughs> and he just turned and walked out. And <laughs> Gone. <laughs> we ain't much for hanging around. No. Oh, that man. Yeah. He is. What he, he talk something. about? He didn't talk. He Well, he's talking about his book. He's talking about Uncanceled. It was a book promotion along with Real Treat. Uncanceled? Him. I thought it was a, your daily dose of Phil. No, this one was for Uncanceled. So How many well, books is got? I've, I've, he got more coming. I've, we talked about that too. Yeah, I've I've read about half of uh, uh, Daily Phil. That's pretty good. That How about Uncanceled? Did you read that one? Yeah, I did. Is it good? Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I haven't read it. Obviously, yeah, he's he's right on the money. Okay, with the times. Yeah, it's almost like okay. Yeah, like it needed to be written. You know, well, the daily feel like is wisdom is down really there good words. because hey, look, yeah. when you think about it, most people have their attention span and ain't much. Well, when you're reading and it's just a page and a half, that little story is a page and a half. Then you go to the next one, page and a half. Next one, page and a half. Is there pictures? Huh? Yeah. Awesome. No, no. <laughs> no, it's actually, it's actually, and then what makes it really good. Is it he throws in stuff when that was pertaining to him and his family going on at the time of all the transformation that Jesus did with him? Yeah, mm. which is really which is really amazing to see. Oh yeah, Phil. Okay, Phil still got it. Don't ever. He's still yeah. as sharp as he ever was. Oh, no. Well, hey, he got that from Mama. Yeah, Mama was ninety four and. The, all the junk that my mother had to go through and put up with, she was just as sharp the day she died. Well, let me tell you something right now, son. You ain't no dummy. Well, well, I'm you just got saying. a you got a memory like I ain't seen lately oh, for hey. a seventy four year old man. Don't get them started on that PBS. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, no. Hey, well, no, that's why I'm. Yeah, you know, yeah. You know, that just you brought to my mind about hey, people that can't see God. I feel sorry for them. Because with all the amazing stuff that he's got in creation, and you miss it. The proof's right there around, yeah, Jane. Yeah, you miss it. Yeah. You need to go open your eyes and and open your mind and look. How come the trees just stop where they do? How come they don't do like Jack and the Beanstalk? <laughs> <laughs> and keep on going. Yeah. Go to the sky. And going. I don't know. Never thought about it. Write it down. I think it's because they produce oxygen and we're walking around on the ground. That's right. He's think saying it was why? designed that way. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You think? No, it just happened. Well, they have got some that go to the <laughs> skies, and that's them big, giant redwoods Ooh, in California. Yeah. There's one. There's one. I saw that. It's like 100 foot higher than all the rest. Yeah, mega. It is the beanstalk. Yeah. yeah. Well, let's take our last break, and we're going to open up that inbox That's right. and see and what the fans box. are up to. Right, we're gonna get we'll it be back right now. Would you like to hear a good story? I'm I always am. up for is a it story. In, is We're it in our in. inbox, hello at duckcallroom.com? Yes. I got a great story. But it's what not mine. He doesn't Man, have questions. It's not questions. It's stories. It's just stories. Ben. He's 30 years old. He's from the England, comma, UK. At the end, he says there are four countries in that country. I still don't understand it. Um, <laughs> huge fan of all the shows. Listen to every episode of the podcast. He spells favorite with a U, so he really is from England. Um, he, It's a good story. It starts kind of sad. 
Uh, recently, him and his wife lost a baby through a miscarriage due to complications. Uh, she had to be rushed to the hospital while she was down in the uh, operating theater. I guess we would call that the surgery room. His head was all over the place, and he was thinking he was about to lose his baby and his wife in the same day. He wasn't a Christian, but after listening to this podcast and other stuff that the Duck Commander family puts out, for so long he knew that there was only one person, thing, or being that could help her get through this, and it was the big guy upstairs. So he started praying right then. His wife made a full recovery, and he just wanted to thank us from the bottom of his heart. And, you know, it did take a pretty traumatic thing. But I'm just happy for you. Happy you found Jesus through that traumatic experience. And, and thank you for listening. Thank you for sending that email. Like, I read that and kind of I was like, okay. That's awesome. There's a reason we talk that, about that makes weird it, stuff. Yeah, that makes every hour we sit in here worth it right there. Uh, yeah. But, silver, silver lining in a cloud, dark cloud. Amen. And look, hey. thank us all you want to. But yeah. don't, Thank don't, Almighty. don't forget to give thanks where the credit is yep. due. Amen. To and, and give the glory to yeah, the no, Almighty. Uh, so, but thanks for sending that in because, yep. you know, that, that's awesome. We don't do this for the pats on the back, but. No, but that's awesome. It felt really good to read that knowing that uh, some people are out there listening and just at least we got them thinking there is something more than just this earth. You know, and at that deal this weekend, that was the number one thing was people thanking us for doing this, doing this thing, giving them a distraction in the world in which we live in and man that's awesome if that's what we're providing that is yeah that's cool man like we just came in here just because we thought it was a good idea like you know like hey let's let's do this let's try this let's see what happens you know we just thought so i might be so, have some more stories that the world needed to hear he got plenty oh, of them he he's could. ciphering on one right now look at him oh so, <laughs> i'm getting deep thought and hey sorry about the loss of your child yeah so, amen to that. you and your yeah. wife but hey guess what Right. Gotta Make take fun. care of it. Don't worry about it. Ain't that the truth? That's where the, that's where your baby's at, is he's in the loving arms of God and Jesus and the Holy Spirit and all those surrounding them. Nothing but pure love. Yeah. Now it's your job to get there with him. That's it. Yep. And, and your wife. And to take your woman with you. That's it. That's good. Amen to that. All right. Y'all want to give out some advice? Sure. Heartbroken hillbilly in need of some guidance. <laughs> Don't get in the water bed with your spurs on. <laughs> <laughs> La uh, laughter laughter solves a lot of life's problems have you done that oh um, yeah how how do you know this <laughs> it sounds like experience i used to have a water bed and i'm a cowboy that's it hey. so Don't which one do you which one do you on. which one do you still have the water bed or the spurs <laughs> the spurs I don't have either. Uh-oh. <laughs> he got rid of them both, boys. They don't go together. <laughs> oh, boy. That was I love good it. stuff. I love, I love you, Galvin. Lord have mercy. <laughs> All right. Well, our heartbroken hillbilly is named Morgan from a tiny town in Pennsylvania that we wouldn't know existed unless we lived there. And we don't live there, so somewhere in Pennsylvania. Uh, I just come back from Pennsylvania. Did you? Was it a tiny town you wouldn't know if you lived there? I didn't know I lived there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Morgan. All right, All right Morgan. Morgan. We're gonna get. We're gonna get there. The love sick hillbilly. Yeah. We're gonna get there. We're okay. not laughing at your heartbroken. No, we're laughing right. at Godwin. Hey. Yeah. All right. So recently, she had to make a very hard decision. She walks away from a man she loved more than anyone else before. Mm. They were together for almost a year. Uh, went through some hard times. He wasn't sure what he wanted. In the end, we tried to be friends, and there's this weird circle. What are we? What are we? What are we, right? About a week ago, out of the blue, he decided he wanted to just be friends since he's going to professional umpire school in January. People are not going to like him one day if he's going to be an umpire. Um, so, and she was shocked. They were, she thought things were back good again. Uh, she's trying to call him, talk about it, but he's like, nope, I'm, I'm gone. Uh, so he, he, she's just really upset. After that phone call, I decided I needed to be done. He truly is the love of my life. And I don't foresee myself loving someone else the way I love him. I told him I love him, but he had done enough damage to hurt me to the point where I didn't want to talk. I just needed to be done. Good job. Uh, I know this is a lengthy email, but to get to the point, I wanted to ask, how do I trust that I made the right decision here? Everyone around me 
Every, and literally, she lists a bunch of people. Keep telling me I did make the right decision. There's other people out there. But how am I supposed to know I did the right thing? It's tough because I don't see myself with another person. But I also don't want to be treated like an option. That's important for you to realize. Uh, please give me your advice as I'm really struggling between this heartbreak and trying to see what God's plan is through all of this. Sincerely, a very heartbroken hillbilly, Morgan. I would say give it time. There's the answer. No. Mm hmm Because something like that is not easy to get over, especially since you think you really loved him. <clears throat> well, and that's so, how you know you did, because it's yeah. not easy to, if it were easy yeah. to get over, yeah. you know. It ain't like turning the water faucet yeah. off. Yeah, that's exactly right. But, you know, I would say for, for the time that you're in, you made the right decision. 100%. So you shouldn't be an option. If you're pouring everything into someone and he's more worried about umpire school, which I'm really not even sure what that is. Um, well, the fact that he wants to be an umpire to me is a red flag. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I told Joe Hunt. Somebody, somebody that is that in to no in, in, in rules and regulation, I'm out on. Well, like, yeah. your choice is right, I think, because, okay, the way I see this dude, he's self-centered. Okay, because he don't realize what he's got. Yeah. Umpire. Okay, yeah. His focus is on the wrong thing. Umpire. In my humble opinion. Okay. And I'll leave it that. Give it time, darling. You know, <clears throat> hey, I have no doubt in my mind, God's got a man picked out for you. Amen. And don't play his game. Ain't no three strikes. You're out. You're out. Yeah. Like, weed him <laughs> out. out. It's dude. time. You've been around. Like, that's that's the part that I that caught my eye. There's been this whole circle of we, like, where are we, aren't we? We've been, let's be yeah. friends. That didn't work. Let's be some. It's, eh, eh. Yeah. Because what? you're clearly all in. He's clearly halfway doing it. No, he's not halfway. Hey, he's what got me on this is yeah, the. He done made he, his hey, mind. Me up to the ball game. Well, hey, clown. Go to the ball game. You go. Okay. I'm gone. There you, go. you want another one? Pray on it. Is it a quick one? It's a pretty quick one. Yeah. John from Indiana. He has an awesome wife, almost nine years, and a son who just turned one a couple weeks ago. Congratulations, John. I started a new job a few months ago, and it's a great place to work, and he only has to work three days a week, but I have to work nights. And on the nights that I work, I don't get to see my family much at all due to conflicting schedules. Basically, she is leaving shortly after I get home and doesn't get back till time for me to leave i've been depressed and feel like i'm missing out on my son growing up and don't get to spend enough time with my wife what is some advice you guys would give on dealing with this situation get a three, baby. let me get this straight you're only working three days a week three nights a week yeah. three nights That's a week. week so dude I'll, I'll answer this way count your blessings name them one by one if you only have to wait three days and or you've got a good living. Yeah, and you're able to provide for your family. Yeah, and you're providing for your family. Four is greater than three, which is the amount of times you get to be home with them. Yeah, I wouldn't yeah, mess with I wouldn't mess with what you've got. If you're working at a good place. Yeah. Don't take that for granted either. Like and don't if take there's that for granted. if there's opportunity to move from nights to days and get on the same same schedule with your family and you like the place you work for now, if that opportunity don't exist, you may need to look at doing something else because there's nothing worth you being depressed over. Exactly. But if they're a good place and you think you can move up and you can change your schedule and flip it around, then benefit. there's a lot of things that you can do for the future of your family. Everything's in a season. Figure out which season you're in. The and, biggest and, question that we don't know is what is what are those four days off look like? Because yeah. if you've got four days off and two of them she's off, then – yeah, you got to just pour in those two but days. But if you're three days, normal. if you're three days, you're working. It's Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and she's off Saturday, Sunday. Then Actually, that's a you know drag. what? Send us in more information, <laughs> John. Right. John from Indiana. I want more information, and then we can really help. I've been to Indiana. <laughs> he's a, he's a gold mine today, folks. Hey, any? All right. Send us out of here. You. Got I got it? one for the heartbroken hillbilly. All right. Psalms one forty seven. We're gonna start in three, and we're just gonna read till I. Get tired. Get tired because it's so good. Oh. He heals the broken heart. It's talking like Psalms 147 3. He heals the broken hearted and binds up their wounds. He determines the number of stars and calls them each by name. 
Great is our Lord and mighty in power. His understanding has no limit. The Lord sustains the humble, but casts the wicked to the ground. Sing, sing to the Lord with grateful praise. Make music to our God on the harp. Brokenhearted hillbilly. You, I forgot your name. Dead gummit. Morgan. 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 God's with you, even if that umpire's not. And he's got a plan for you, and I'm sure it's way better than 162 baseball games a year. Hey. And your boyfriend getting yelled at. Hey, my That's take is, cool. hey, you gave him three strikes. Go ahead and call him out, baby. Get on out. I wish we had an organ. Get on with your life. <laughs> Take me off to the ball game. Uh, Take me home from the ball game. All right. We'll see y'all next time right, right. here in the day. All right. We're out. Bye.